What do y'all say we hang a door on this bright sunny day? Well, I'll give you a little shim, because I know how much I shimmed it up. Let me set that little shim right there. We'll save that piece, because it's kind of important for later. Get that in there. Just a hinge. We pre-drilled these holes in a previous video. I say we, all right. I say we because I was including y'all. Let's see if we can get that in there. Nope. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this together and get the things done I need to get done. And when I take it apart, I'm going to take one pop cleaner. It looks like a little fuzz. Twist it up in some wire about that long. And I'm going to dip it in some sealant. And I'm going to push it up in those holes real good. Keep doing it until it just drips out of the holes. Make sure I got all those holes sealed from moisture because these wood, anything made out of wood is going to, you know, it's just prone to rot eventually if you, unless you keep it sealed really good. So seal it. Seal it. And seal it up. Come on, breathe in some dust. Sun's coming out. You need that Mustang? Like you have a good day today. Friends are having some fun. Those Mustangs always sound good. I'd say it's probably about 78 degrees today. Maybe 75, something like that. I haven't looked. I just know it's nice and comfortable. The pool wasn't 70 degrees. The pool water wasn't 70 degrees. I might get in it today. Uh, it's just too cold for me. Like my water. A little more like a Caribbean temperature. Okay, we're going to snug these up. You don't want to run them up tight with that drill because I mean, if, you threat, if you strip them out, it's not a big deal. Uh, you can just take a little tiny dowel rod, put some glue on it, hammer it in a hole, and then uh, let it dry. And once it dries, you can re-drill the hole. But that's just, it's just better to be careful. This video might be a little bit longer than normal. I'm going to try to get the door latch up too. And every once in a while I'll try to glance at the camera to see if, see if I'm obscuring your view, which I do not want to do. Just a little snug. Awesome. You can see the hardware on the other one right there. Let's see if we can. See, I've already pre 
holes in the back latch. And I have this little piece of wood I was using. It's going to go just like this. So the hole for the handle to go through. We'll sh I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not going to always put the camera in the wrong spot. These aren't too difficult to do. Just time consuming, mark, measure, mark, and measure, and mark, and measure, and mark, and then, then finally cut. Thing with dealing with wood, you mean you know if you make a mistake, you can always fill it back up. You don't just use a wood filler. Use some kind of a little wood dowel rod or to fill the holes. Look at that! I put that one on upside down. Look at that. Yes, I did. Uh, okay. See what I did? Is they give you one side, one side, S I D E, one side fits all. So on that side it would be like that. So that pattern would fit there. That's why I said measure twice and cut once. So what I'm gonna have to do is put this on here and I'll have to raise it up to right here. And this uh the glass is going to be a little bit higher than the other side. So, anyway, we'll save that for a second video. This is what it looks like. Somebody asked me one time, I hardly ever see your face on the film. All these videos you make. I said, well, it's not about me. If you're tuning in to see me, you're going to be wasting your time. I'm just showing you the work that I do and to share with everybody and let uh, other potential builders know you can do this you can do it on your back porch or in your garage so thanks for watching